Yeah, here we go. Everybody, I'm Charlie Worsham. I make my own records and tour my own shows, but also for the last couple summers I've been touring with my buddy Dirk Spentley in his band. I sort of function as a utility musician. I play a lot of acoustic, uh, some mandolin, some ganjo, though I also play five-string banjo, uh, and uh, I've played some resonator guitar, a little bit of electric, and sing harmonies. Uh, for all of my acoustic instrument uses on the road with Dirks, uh, I run the instruments through not one but two voice print DIs. To know why I do that, you got to get a little backstory on me. So for many years, and if you follow the LR Bags social media channels, especially YouTube, uh, you'll know that I have been experimenting with using multiple pickup sources in my acoustics to help compete with the volume of full-blown electric guitars played through really loud amplifiers. And I also just happen to love the sound of an acoustic layered between uh, the traditional acoustic DI sound, uh, as well as an amped sound where you can add delays and reverb or even distortion. Uh, and I am doing all of that on the road with Dirk Spentley. So we'll start uh, with voice print number one uh, and one of the instruments I play the most. This is just your regular old acoustic guitar. Uh, I've modeled it after my 1954 J50 uh, that I have at home and use a lot uh, in the studio. That's the voice print you'll hear uh, through this new J45 here. Here it goes. A little bit of a dirt song here. So that's the sound of the voice print uh, on a more traditional, maybe more mellow song with Dirks, just straight acoustic DI tone. Now, the way this signal runs, I go into my tuner, into voice print DI uh, number one. Out of that, uh, the XLR captures that acoustic sound, uh, but simultaneously I take the quarter inch out and run it into a second voice print. Uh, what this is, is uh, a voice print of an acoustic guitar of mine uh, played through a pop-in George L pickup into a Fender Princeton reverb amplifier. Uh, and I actually put the, the uh, microphone in my iPhone in front of the speaker of the Princeton and captured that amped sound. Uh, and the reason I love that sound is those George L uh, pop-in pickups, they're not anywhere close to the pristine full spectrum sound of any of the products that LR Bags offers. But that's what you want in an amp sometimes you want just those mids, right? You don't have any high end, you don't have any low end. Uh, and then when you combine the, uh, the profile of that amped sound with the technology in the voice print, the anti-feedback, the ability to uh, adjust the EQ, uh, what I have now is a very useful, very versatile filter through which I can play all my acoustic instruments run into an amp. Now we use fractals uh, as our amp tone uh, out with Dirks, and this is what this acoustic sounds like. Uh, what you already heard, this right here, the voice print uh, acoustic sound modeled after an old acoustic. And now I just unmute the second uh, voice print. It runs into the fractal here. So. I can add a little 
dirt here with my drive pedal. I can also uh, take this patch on the fractal. Let me tap that out here. So that's got that delay on it uh, and lets you kind of play around with some of the spatial elements. Uh, and that's how I use the acoustic when I'm out with dirks. Let's switch instruments. Let's see here. Take this out. So uh, Dirks' latest hit, Gold, from his album Gravel and Gold, on which I was fortunate and, and proud to play uh, on the recording sessions for, features 12-string guitar. And we've been kicking off the tour this past year uh, with Gold, on which I play this 12-string. Uh, and it's tuned to an open D tuning. And rather than just use my acoustic print, uh, I modeled this 12 string guitar. And so I switched to that patch. I don't typically run this 12 string through my second voice print which runs into the amp sound, the fractal. But if I were to be messing around for my own show, I would very much love to run this 12 string through an amp tone and mess with different effects. You can kind of get a sense of what that would sound like here. So next up uh, in the lineup that I use out with Dirks, and this is an instrument I'll be playing a lot on my own shows this year as well, uh, is the mandolin. And Dirks obviously has a history of using bluegrass elements uh, in his music, and I'm so tickled to get to be one of the guys in the band who gets to uh, fulfill that role and play some banjo or ganjo or mandolin. Uh, we'll switch over to the mandolin patch that I have uh, on my voice print. This is what the mandolin sounds like without running through the fractal. This is just the first voice print DI here. Dirks also has a song we play uh, each night. Uh, it's called Same Old Me, and I play mandolin on that, and there's a big mandolin solo, and on the record, uh, when I played the mandolin solo, I ran the mandolin through an amp. Uh, and so to recreate that live, I unmute the second voice print, I add the dirt uh, with the overdrive pedal, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Uh, 
I also use the mandolin on his big hit, Drunk on a Plane, and we do a big rock intro for it. as a regular old mandolin sound. There you go. So next up, uh, we have the ganjo. And uh, let me just say, I am a five string banjo player. And in the year prior, I played a five string banjo out with Dirks for uh, songs like I Hold On. Uh, but he also has a song called Am I the Only One? And on Am I the Only One, uh, it's not a five-string banjo on the record. It's an actual ganjo. And the part, I'll go to my, my ganjo patch. What's interesting here is uh, I really took my time. This is the beauty of the voice print technology is I really took my time with the other patches uh, that I created. I was grabbing vintage instruments from home and trying multiple uh times to capture that one instrument until I just got the absolute perfect voice print that I wanted. Uh, but it was actually in Dirk's rehearsals that I made this voice print because I forgot to do the Ganjo voice print until production rehearsals. And I was in the middle of a noisy rehearsal space. And I literally set my phone on a stool and stood in front of it and created the voice print. with Background noise and everything. And that's what you're going to hear. And it turned out great which is just a testament to uh, how useful and flexible in the real world situations you're gonna find yourself in uh, that the voice print can be. So here's the Ganjo part on Am I the Only One. Oh, I'm gonna do it first without the amp and then I'll play it with the amp for you. So here's without the amp. Now here it is with a little dirt going through that second voice print DI. Remember, this is the same print I did of that one uh, acoustic through an amp, but it just works for all these other instruments for an amp, uh, an amped acoustic instrument sound. Here we go. So this really takes you through everything I play with Dirks except for my electric guitar, which obviously there's no need for uh, the voice print DI, but the beauty of this whole setup is this all fits into a Pelican case. I'm not lugging around eight different DIs that might get bumped or uh, you know settings messed with or anything. And then if we are in a situation where there's an issue uh, acoustically with the venue, all I gotta do is whip out my phone, connect it, and fix the problem on my phone in minutes, if not less than that. Uh, and so it's been a huge lift for me uh, to give me peace of mind just knowing that even if I'm coming in at the 11th hour before a gig and I didn't get to sound check, I know my sounds are there the way I want them to be. Uh, the monitor engineer loves me because everything we uh, we took time and rehearsal and we got our levels, everything is uh, right to the same level. They're really just taking that one line uh, and they don't have to worry about my settings being up or down from night to night. 
very consistent, uh, protected from feedback, um, and the ultimate flexibility that a player could want for uh, the different kind of tones that you could uh, expect to get from an acoustic and a few that you wouldn't expect to get from an acoustic. Uh, so I am a big fan of the voice print, and I think everybody should have two. <laughs> yeah.